Channel 4 News and Sport in 45 minutes after Saturday at the Dream Factory with Deal or No Deal. Hi. How was it? I had to have two fillings. I will have you a bad. Oh. The phone book from BT. When making the right call matters. 22 identical sealed boxes, in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds. Welcome to Deal. They're well revved up. Hello, pilgrims! Welcome to the Dream Factory. Wow! Thank you. Now, we're at a very interesting point in the history of Deal or No Deal. On Friday, we went through the £10 million milestone. He has paid out now over £10 million. And he promises us an epic week next week for Halloween week. And this time, next week, I can promise you a sensational deal or no deal. It is our second birthday. It is going to be quite extraordinary, and the banker promises things you've never, ever seen before. So now we have mixed emotions. 22 people wondering if it is their moment to come out here and thinking, maybe I don't want to. <laughs> maybe I want to hang around for this big second birthday show. Mmm, here come the players. Yes, the long wait is over for you. I bet. <laughs> Come on, I bet. Take the walk of well. Everything to do with the box is precise. Welcome to your game. Thank you, Neil. Abed, please take a seat. So you are Abed Hussein? Yes. Nothing in between? I imagine there might be a whole load of others in there. Well, that's one reason why we actually gave a lot of names to our daughters. I never had a middle name, so all the four daughters we have have got very long names. Go on. Actually, shall I bring the photo down, then we can explain? Yeah, super, yeah. Let's do it this way, because you and I have got something in common. I've got four daughters. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you see, I could be a real man to have four daughters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, the eldest, Aisha, which is this beautiful lady here. Yep. She's 19. Her middle name is Eve Teacups. Then, moving along, Leela Emerald Sukina Hussein. Then you've got Kamara G, who's eight. And then <laughs> the little one in the middle, that's um, Shakira Misty Harley Hussein. <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> That's the ball. Well, well done. Congratulations. Are you a superstitious sort of guy? Yes, to a degree, I suppose. The key thing now is for me to stand up and reveal a very precious gift that was given to me quite recently. Well, actually, there's three Bruni's angels out there today as well. And they are Helen, Charlie and Nikki. Hang on, here. Let's recap. Bruni has handed out the angels that are yes. with her all the time, yeah. and she believes bring her good fortune. Yeah. You've got one, and you have box 13, which is her lucky number, and she always has it on a bracelet on her wrist. Yes. And that is interesting, because she was going to keep that box mm. till the end, and she yeah. went and opened it before the end of the game, and it had £50,000 in it. Correct. So, 
I wonder what this means for you. Yeah, me too. Are you happy to go on? Absolutely. All right. I need you, please. I've had to confirm you chose box 13 at random before the game began. I did indeed. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. You know that. We know that. You know that. And the other thing I hope you know, we're all 100% behind you. I want you to have a great game. Abed, good luck. Thank you. I'm going to start with you, sweetheart. My three angels. I really hope this is lucky for you. Bless you. Go for the end, Fred. Come on, Ed. Do you want to rethink Bruni's angels? I should have, shouldn't I, really? Yeah, she picked us out for a reason, so, yeah, absolutely. Okay, Tina, number three, please. Good luck. How do you feel? Not sure today, do you know? I'm really not sure. I've got no feeling on this one at all. No? No, it's up to you if you want to open it. You know what I've had in my boxes. I know. All right, Basil. OK, buddy, over to you then. Good luck. Thank you. Two biggest gone in the opening round. How are you, Tink? All right today, yeah, yeah. Number two, please. Best of luck, you'll be dead. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Try number eight, please. Chris. Good luck, Abed. Got a good feeling about this one. You've got such a great smile, I don't know what it's disguising at the moment. Uh, we have talked about the curse of the mummy. I don't think there's a curse of the daddy, but that was horrible. Wasn't it, though? Horrible, horrible! I wish for a worse start, could I? Well, if you're going to take reds, it should be the other end. Yeah. Hello, banker. Oh, you're looking forward to Halloween. Has the man finished the coffin? Yes. Are you serious? I didn't believe it when you said there was a coffin being built in your office. You are serious. Deadly serious. <laughs> However, it's Abed today. Oh, well done. You're in the Hall of Fame as the most dramatic box opener of all time. Bless you. <laughs> Shakespearean, yes. <laughs> He's put you in a Shakespearean frame of mind. Gentlemen of England, now abed. <laughs> so, think themselves accursed. I don't know this one. Ah, they were not here. Yes. For you, a tragedy. For me, a comedy. Forsooth. It's £1,000. Oh, uh, your opening offers £1,000 through all that prose. Well, he has to start from somewhere, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Not a good starting point, though, is it? I'm ready for the question, I bet. OK. <laughs> Come on, get over there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to take too long over this, do we? £1,000, deal or no deal? I think it's a no-brainer, really. No deal. Thank you. <laughs> All blue round there. He's hoping. hoping. Judy? Ah. Judy, how is your <laughs> invisible crystal ball today? I've got a good feeling about this box because I've had all blue. Yeah. I've had all blue. And a blue for you. Let's go with you. You've had seven, haven't you? Seven in a row. 
Judy, reveal a uh, uh, blue. Good luck, Abby. Thank you, Tom. Well, the blue run is over, but 3,000 is not a disaster. Fine. OK, Nikki. Number one, please. You've been an amazing daddy. I hope it's a blow for you. Thank you, sweetheart. Dreading that one. Simon? Number nine, please. If the bank is getting all Shakespearean, I would just like to say I'd like to quote the first line of Twelfth Night. If music be the food of love, play on! And let's get a small blue one out of this. Simon! <laughs> <laughs> As Shakespeare once said, we'll see you right after the break. <laughs> Don't miss an incredible week of Halloween shows starting on Monday. Welcome back to Abed's game. That has a bit of a Shakespearean theme to it. Uh, we may well be going to Simon in a moment. You selected him before the break. Yeah? Yes, Simon, number nine. OK, Simon, we now want another blue. Good luck, Abed. Thank you, Simon. I'll do a thousand. <laughs> I don't need to be suitably serious about it. Would you excuse me? The phone's ringing. Hello? No, no, we're OK now. We're OK. We, we've stabilised after a very turbulent opening round. He's finding it tricky. He, he doesn't like it if you've got a solid block on the right-hand side. But you know he likes to pop off us in gaps. There's no gap. <laughs> Simon has irritated you? Oh, he doesn't, doesn't like you quoting Twelfth Night at him. Oh, but there is a prominent fool in Twelfth Night. I'll be revenged on the whole pack of you, he says. From Twelfth Night. Well, that's his Twelfth Night quote. By the way, how are you shifting your coffee? <laughs> I was just wondering if you're having a problem shifting the coffee. And you might go outside and say, a hearse, a hearse, my kingdom for a hearse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, thank you. At the moment, he believes with this situation, this could be the winter of his discontent. <laughs> and he's therefore going to £10,000. <laughs> Which is a good lead from a grand. That's a nice offer, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, a lot better than one. A lot better than one? Yeah. You've noticed, uh, yeah, yes. there it is. Five above it. Well, I do believe I have a strong board, and a 10,000 is a really good offer. And thank you very much, Mr. Banker. But I'm ready for the question. It didn't take a lot of chewing, that one, did no. it? No, no. 10,000 pounds, deal or no deal? For the moment, no deal. Thank you. <laughs> My partner in crime when we first arrived, Ben. Number 12, please, then. The ideal scenario here is an all-blue round. Can you start it off, please? Hope to deliver, Abbott. Thanks, Ben. Good luck. Thank you. <sighs> no, we wanted to leave that one for structural reasons. The block was what was getting the banker worried. And now it's got a hole in the middle. Little Ridge. 
How are you feeling, buddy? I don't have a feeling about the box, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with you then, my are friend. You sure? To deal or not to deal? This is today's question. looking a bit better bearing in mind that you whipped out the 20,000 yeah. still could be 75,000 in this box 13 has Bruni brought you some luck and is that a whopping sum of money there hello one little hole so how much importance are you putting on the discovery of 20,000 oh Okay. He suggests if you take this offer, all's well that ends well. 15,000. 15,000. And of course, he's playing board offers with you, Abed. He loves to do this every now and again, giving offers that are sitting there so you can think about them. The last one was 10,000, and now we've got 15,000. Bring reality back. Yeah. I want to go to Judy. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> oh, my word. I just want to hear what Meg says. Come on, Mystic. <laughs> Abed, I have a very strong feeling you've got a good board there. Another round to go. Another round. But it's your call, Abed. £15,000 is a very chunky sum of money. I'm ready for the question. OK, Abed, £15,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you for the offer, Mr. Banker. But no deal. <laughs> Continuing the Shakespearean theme, avoid the tragic outcome. Come on, we want to be laughing at the end of this round. Well, Mary. you know that grass you gave me yesterday? Oh, yes. Give me an awful bad stomach last night. Really? I, I picked it five minutes before the game. Yeah, but you didn't get me the green, green grass of home, did you? That's yeah. <laughs> it. Turf out of blue. Thank you. Yeah. Don't celebrate too soon. Concentrate. Concentrate. I, I really want you to concentrate. Stay focused on this. Tony, 22. Okay, Tony. Uh, best. Come on, want a blue. The rightish daddy out. Come on, want a blue. Want a blue. Want a blue. Oh. Now we're taking the top off the game. Got a £50,000 game here. <laughs> What's going to leave you to the end, you know? It's my date of birth as well. And my wife said to me, you're going to leave 17 till the end. But if you were going to do that, then maybe that's exactly what you should do. Oh, look at all the people who changed their mind. Think really carefully before you change your mind on what you were going to do initially. Do you want to think carefully? Yes, please. Once more until the break, dear friends. <laughs> come on! <laughs> Do come back. <laughs> Will there be any nightmares in the Dream Factory next week? Don't miss it.
thinking time. Welcome back to Abed's Game. <laughs> Giving you that all-important thinking time. We're coming up to eight box, and you want to have one off the left-hand side to get the balance in your favour. Well, it's that pivotal moment again, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Come on, Michael. OK, then. So, this will be a blue, please, Michael. All the best, mate. Thank you, mate. I hope it's the 10p. You deserve it. 10,000. Well, it's not as bad as it could have been, bearing in mind his track record with reds. But it isn't what you wanted in gameplay terms. Oh, no, no, no. Hello. Oh, you like the plot of the play. OK, inevitably, he's putting a huge amount of weight on the 75,000, and he's going down. And he says you should take this offer to avoid a comedy of errors. <laughs> Seven and a half thousand. He's halved you. Time to bring down the curtain? No, far from it. No. Yes, we are coming to the end of the play, but there's still a lot of the play still left, so... So, from this, can I deduce that you would now like the question? Please, no. Seven and a half thousand pounds, I bet. Deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr Banker, but no deal. <laughs> OK, Dennis, number 20, please. Yes. Yes, please. Well, Abed, you know, I was the virgin of the East Wing yesterday. Yeah. And it was my first time. And they gave me the biggest one they could find. <laughs> so let's hope that today it's more manageable. 35,000, you're getting a reputation. We want that 10p, Maria. You've been a brilliant neighbour. I hope this is blue. He's going to punish you for the loss of the 35. Find the 10p. Punishment will not be extreme. My daughter Kai, I ask her to pick a number for me. She says 14. Dad, leave 14 till the end. OK. So we're not 17, going there. 17, my wife, my date of birth. Lucky number seven. 16 has always had big numbers in it. So basically, you don't want to open any more boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Say, it's a hard decision. Shall we say goodbye <laughs> from Deal or No Deal? Our first ever inconclusive game. Eleven or sixteen. Eleven or sixteen. Come on, Mario. Oh, what, are you? Are you yes, I'm going to ask Mario for the ten p. <laughs> okay, Mario, could you please reveal ten p? Please. I hope this is ten p for you. Thank you. Fifteen thousand. Now a massive gap. Oh, we've got all or very, very little. I'm going to the finale. I'm going all the way. You're going to the final act. Yeah. <laughs> Offer down our bed. He says 
says if you go on, you'll take out the 50,000 and it'll be much ado about nothing. His father once said to him, uh, never a borrower nor a lender be. So he wants to be a giver. That's unusual for him. And he's going to give you the opportunity of selling box 13 now for £5,000. And it gets up. <sighs> we peaked at 15. And we've been slipping back since. Now down to 5,000. And it looks pretty good offer, actually, if you think about it. If you do Eric's Law, always removing the highest number remaining in the game, you then have an offer that is the highest, equal highest. Is it worth a gamble? Because you might have 5,000 pounds here, so you haven't really lost anything. Is it worth a gamble? Because you could have 45,000 pounds more. Or is it time to say reality strikes and today isn't your luckiest day? Only you can make your mind up. Well, been married for 13 years. Box 13, Bruni's Link, The Angel. She had 50,000 pounds, I think, left in her box, wasn't it? Box 13? Yes. Too many coincidences, really, aren't they? But you could counter that by saying, what are the chances of £50,000 being in box 13 again so soon after Bruno's game? True. Okay. I'm ready. £5,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you for the offer, Mr Banker. need an all blue round. We'll go with Shaz. Okay. We don't just want an all blue round, we need an all blue round. Shaz, welcome to the game. Thank you. Would you please present the first of the three blues we require? Seven. Okay, and you're going to be so lucky for us. We want that blue. Go Second on. blue. Come on. Little blue. Oh. No. He's not going away with it because you have just revealed it. Okay, right, now we can right, right, still get the five thousand you declined. It's all on this box. We can still get the 5,000 you declined. We have to believe it's here. 17 or 14? You want to open 17? 17, 17 yep. 10p or 10 pounds? Please, Charlie. Definitely got 10p. Definitely, definitely, definitely got 10p. Yeah! 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 Okay. And then, and then well done, yeah. Well done, man. Well, now we have a very interesting situation. The last offer you had was five. You declined five. You can still recover the situation. Box 13 can still have 5,000 pounds in it. A lot of people watching right now would love to have 5,000 pounds drop into their bank account tomorrow, tax-free. No questions asked. Hello. 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 The game fascinates you. Bruni's last boxes were the 5,000 and the 500. Thank you. Oh, his ambition with a little 
literary flavour at the end is that you and Bruni are two noble kinsmen. The similarities, he's pointing out, you have the angels from Bruni. We came down to virtually the same situation. A low blue, 5,000 pounds. Her offer was 2,000 pounds and your offer is 2,000 pounds. took the money, didn't she? She took 2,000. It completed a very painful game in that we all wanted her to win the money for her daughter and the sting in the tail was the 5,000 was sitting there. <coughs> okay, I'm ready. Two thousand pounds, deal or no deal. No deal. Hello. To swap or not to swap? That is the question. There was a reason why I got 13. Bruni being the reason. Swap or no swap? No swap. Perhaps I'm back to where I was on Friday. Great guy, fabulous player. You played it with determination. I really hope, Abed, because you have played this game with dignity. But I would love to think this is five thousand pounds. Because I bet you deserve it. Steph, no pressure. Open box 14, please. I'm really going to miss you. You've been a great neighbour. Thank you, Steph. There it is. £10 over there. <laughs> what a ride. Cool, you made that hard work. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't more. Hey. But you brought that most important deal or no deal quality. You were true to yourself. You played the game your way. Abed, £5,000. <laughs> Player. We do have fabulous players in Deal or No Deal, and he was true to himself. Great tenacity. Now, what on earth is happening over the next seven days? Well, actually, I do not have a clue. The banker is talking about involving a coffin in the Dream Factory to celebrate Halloween week. And then this time next week, we'll be celebrating the second birthday of Deal or No Deal. And the promise is the most sensational show we've ever had. So, you don't want to miss the run of Deal or No Deals coming up. I want you there. I need you there. Bye-bye. Coming up next, Channel 4 News and Sport. What's this? It's garlic white with a hint of vanilla. Mmm.